life. All right, next up on Dave's bus proof list is oh, this one I have to vehemently disagree with Mike Evans. Uh, Jamie, you can go first. Make the bus case on Mike Evans. He's old. <laughs> you old. It's exactly. Two days in a row. Yeah, I know. We just talked about Evans, but is there anything other than age you think, Jamie, that you'd make a bus case for? Uh, a better Chris Godwin, more involved Chris Godwin playing in the slot. We saw that in the second half of last season when Godwin started to be more involved. Evans' numbers started to t- trickle down in the wrong direction. Um, the addition of McMillan, I think, will help on the outside for the Bucks and may take away a little bit of what Mike Evans is. I, I wonder, Dave, just if you're – were you thinking like he's just not going to finish outside the top 24 because that's kind of been his – track record or that he's going to stay in the same range that he's at right now. Oh, what do you mean? As far like as by bus still being a number two receiver. No, he's bus proof. I think that he's, that's what I'm saying. Bus proof. I'm saying that, that he won't because he's never finished. No, he'll, he'll be a number two wide receiver with 15 PPR, 14 to 15 PPR points per game. That's okay. So, so not, not that he'll uh, just finish as number two receiver. He's, you think he's not going to turn into 11.5 PPR points per game. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, look, we, we've, we've seen how he's performed. But if he does not get to his thousand yards and ten touchdowns, it could be a, a disaster for him. Go ahead. Have, Adam. Sorry, uh, my my, you know, I have a lot of concerns. Obviously, the age. But if I'm playing a different card here, it's that he had a twenty four percent, twenty four point seven percent target share, twenty five point three percent target per out run rate. Both were his highest since two thousand sixteen. I think just naturally that's going to come down. And you know, you got you don't have a five thousand yard passing offense like you used to. You have a four thousand yard passing offense. With 28 touchdowns, he had 46.4% of his team's touchdown catches last year. I think he overperformed last year. And, uh, you know, I do expect a lot more from Chris Godwin like Jamie. And I worry about Baker Mayfield. This guy's career has been a roller coaster. We saw it with Geno Smith last year, and I think it really hurt DK Metcalf. You know, he go, Geno went from a really good 22 to a kind of eh, 23. If Mayfield goes back to being an unpredictable, unreliable, inaccurate quarterback – could really hurt Evans. I think there's a lot of bust potential here for Evans. Are you, so, are you bringing up Geno Smith because of Canales? No, I'm bringing up Geno Smith because I, because I mean, just, it, it makes sense to me to do it. Yeah, and sure. I mean, I know they, but you know, they both had a good year under Canales, and then Geno struggled without him. But I just think that Baker Mayfield's profile has been so truthfully bad at times that I can't rely on that he could be much worse than he was last year. All right, so let's just start with that. I. We know that Mike Evans has worked with a myriad of quarterbacks over the course of his career, and some of them have been, you know, outstanding. Tom Brady was certainly great, but it was older Tom Brady, not Tom Brady in his prime. It's been Jameis Winston when he throws a ton of interceptions. It was Baker Mayfield last year when Baker had a bounce back year, and he still managed to have a ton of great seasons, including at least a thousand yards every single year. Let's talk about Godwin. You brought him up because last year he was not great. 12.3 PPR points per game. In the two years prior, Godwin averaged anywhere from 14.9 to 16.8 PPR points per game. And Mike Evans was still at minimum 15 PPR points per game each of those two seasons. But that was I'm not expecting though. Mike Evans. This is I'm repeating what I said on Monday, which is why Mike Evans is in the top 12 wide receiver for me. I think he's a very good number two wide receiver who's going to get plenty of targets, certainly touchdown opportunities. Hopefully he comes through with double-digit touchdowns like he has three of the past four seasons. I don't know if that's necessarily a lock-in, but I think he's still going to get good stats from week to week and still come through with an average that gives him 14, 15 PPR points per game. That's a safe floor, even though he's 31 years old, even though he's coming off of a tremendous year, I still think he's very bust-proof and someone that you can reliably take. I'd look late round three on Mike Evans as a bus proof wide receiver too. I think that's an important distinction because we, Jamie and I had that show. Where we lumped him in with eight other wide receivers and said that you could see them go in any order. And it wouldn't shock me if someone took Mike Evans in the middle of round two. And it wouldn't shock me if someone took Mike Evans at the end of round three. And I think the expectations for a player in those spots are so different that he could be a bust if you took him in round two. But and finished as like wide receiver 20 or something. But if that happened, if you took him in round three, that you know, because by in NFC ADP, Mike Evans is wide receiver 18. It, it actually is, it may not feel like a big difference, but it, it is a pretty big difference, I think. You know, a, a, a mid round two pick and a late round three pick in terms of my expectations, anyway. So I don't know if that makes sense, but it could just be about you know where he ends up going. 